Are you okay? What do you think, Martin? Am I okay? Am I okay? Sorry? What an asshole! What a jerk! Yeah! You, people say he's a genius. What's so fucking genius about that? That's what I've been saying. Gonna give you a ride home? He's a moron! <laughs> Not Douglas. Martin Leonard. I am talking about Leonard. I thought you were talking about Douglas. Does that seem smart to you? Him standing there telling us that we're all fucking losers unless we, like, go to Egypt and smoke water pipes where we're completely irrelevant as human beings unless if we read the New York Times. That seems smart to you? That's not really what he said. Oh, that is exactly what he said. I'm irrelevant because I live in a nice apartment. I love it. No, no, no. How about I'm irrelevant because I am an overeducated girl? No, that's not what he said. He said I was sexually inadequate. This, he said the story is sexually inadequate. <laughs> How would he know? He didn't bring more than the first six words. He's not talking about you. He's talking about the story. A story he hasn't read. He read the first page. We just sat here, right, and watched him read the first page. Big fucking deal. What is your point, Jordan? I don't have a point. I just mean, that's all you get, right? I mean, everyone says if you don't get them on the first page, that's all you get. Oh, so it's my fault? My fault that I stood there and got completely humiliated by that asshole? You, everybody says that oh, no, he, he's rough, but that he's a great teacher. You know what? I don't understand what's so great about just being abused. That's not teaching. That's just, you know, that's just being a shithead. You know, if I wanted to and have somebody tell me I was wasting my time, I would just go talk to my mother. You know, everybody's so mean, so mean to artists. They think it's so cool to be mean to artists, but they don't understand is that without us, like, the world would be full of, like, or immorality and, and chaos and, 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 and absurdity. You know, it would just be fucking cool to us every once in a while. <laughs> I'm trying to make myself feel better. Is that all right with you? Don't be depressed. I'm depressed. <laughs> My story got creamed. I am a depressed, feral cat. <laughs> if you think he's stupid, what do you care that he didn't like your story? I didn't think he was stupid until he was stupid to me today. So if he liked your story, that would make him not stupid. Yes, if he liked my story, that would make him smart, okay? <laughs> okay? Okay? Just wanted to be sure. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Douglas is out there having drinks with the love of your life. Why are you still sitting here with a loser? She's not the love of my life. Are you kidding? Oh my god, give me a break. <laughs> She's a twit! <laughs> oh yeah. Guys, hate that. <laughs> 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 Look, she's all right, okay? No, I mean, okay, she's attractive. No one's gonna say she's not attractive. Oh my god, you should hear yourself. Attractive. Why don't you just put a gun in your own head? You're so completely in love with her. Do you not think... Do you not think it's utterly obvious to absolutely everyone in the same room with you? I am not in love with her. She clearly has something going on with Douglas. How she can stand to talk to him for more than 15 seconds at a go is a mystery. You guys are a complete, unmitigated embarrassment to the entire human race. Can I give you a ride home? <laughs> give her a ride. It's so Darian. Maybe we should give her a ride to Yano, where the interiority and the exterior of the landscape is so stunningly in sync. We could just have spare essentiality of a mimetic dialogue between self and culture. I mean, that's what he should do. Don't kid yourself. She would love to ride the auto. Give me those chips. I run you home. Oh, fuck me. The fucker. Fuck? No, 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 no. Fuck me. I don't want to go green. This sucks. That story is fantastic. People like that story. You like that story. Mm, well. What do you mean? Well. You don't like my story? It's okay. 
You've been working on it for six years. That's right. I've been working on it for six years because people like people, You know what? <laughs> Frank Conroy, before he died, he read that. He was the writer up in residence at Bennington for like a month. He read that story, and do you know what he said? Do you know what he said? He said that my story was much better than most. Not better than most. Much better <laughs> than most. Ha. Much better than most. Yeah. That is so lame. <laughs> <laughs> that would be lame coming from you, but it didn't come from you. It came from Frank Conroy. Oh, you know who else liked our story? <laughs> Tobias Wolf. He read it when I took a summer writing intensive, and he said that it had some great things in it. Okay, do you even hear yourself? Like, do you know how long you've been working on that story? Six years. Yes, six years. Why have you been writing the same story for six years? Because it's a really good story. I mean, it's a really good story. I, like when I was at Bennington, I every professor I had said that I was. Was there ever a time you weren't at Bennington? <laughs> I swear you live in an alternative universe called Bennington. I learned a lot there, Martin. You learned how to write one lousy story in six years. I didn't. That's not. I don't think it's a lousy story. Fuck you, you did too. Why are you working on the same story for six years? Because people kept telling me that it was good, but that it just needed some work. <laughs> well, Leonard did, a, did you a big favor, didn't he? I'm sorry. <laughs> Meaning what? Now you can write something else. You know, this happens to be my apartment, so I kind of can't walk out. I'd really, really, really love for you to walk out right no, now. No, no, Kate, don't do it. Come on, come on. No, please, I want to do that. Get out of my apartment. Get out. Get out. Martha, get out of my... I have to tell you something. What? <laughs> I'm getting kicked out of my apartment because I'm a little late in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stay here? I mean, you have a whole nine extra bedrooms, and it's free! Who knew it was free? I can stay, right? Please. <laughs> <laughs>